I call this one, it's probably just a conspiracy theory, don't worry about it. Hello there, would you care for a slice of New World Order? A global directive aimed at making us all poorer. It stretches much further than you would ever like to think. All you need to do is accept this call and I'll show you the links. Firstly, let's take a look at the massive shift in wealth. It's hardly like it happened in the shadows or with stealth. Since 2020, in just the United Kingdom alone, the richest 1% took twice as much to profit home. Secondly, inflation rates are going through the roof. You only need to see food prices. Your bills will stand as proof. With 20% of mortgages expected to soon fail, one-fifth of all UK homeowners will see their home set sale. Back in rented accommodation, what happens to their rent? It funnels upwards to the landlords whose assets are content. Let's not be so naive assuming landlords will be safe. It continues funneling upwards as corporations fill their plates. Third, let's take technology and how that plays a part. It's clear to me the future has no place for any art. Artificial intelligence stealing creativity under the guise of helping you spur your productivity. The issue with this reliance is you no longer need to think. It might make your life easier, but I promise you're hoodwinked. When we no longer think or produce creative thoughts, it's easier to be controlled by the elitist cohorts. It's widely documented that arts produce liberal ideas. Without the arts, we become despotic states like North Korea. So when Rishi Sunak says he wants to teach maths until 18, he's only thinking how he can feed us into the machine. No need for anyone to write, no need for paintings either. But if you can add up some numbers, you can program this new driver. You can help create the future through robotic legs and arms that take over the labour force. Am I ringing any alarms? We're heading for a future where your life is nothing more than a means for someone else to live the life you had before. And soon enough, their own life will also crumble and succumb to one of the very few corporations which were allowed to overrun. So perhaps think about this as you see a quarter of a billion pounds of taxpayers' money spent anointing a reptilian. He owns 30% of the country's land. I think it's time we took it back and said no more to globalist regimes that continue to ransack the money from the poorest in favour of their own protection. It's happened for many centuries. It's time for global insurrection. France started the ball rolling with fires in Gay Paris. We need to see this replicated across the West. It's necessary because the veil of corruption has slipped. We're no better than the USSR. So we, the people, should take back our land and see Charles hung out in the yard.